The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. And welcome to our latest installment of the Hometown Football League. This is game 63 out of 90 regular season games and 15 postseason games that I have done on YouTube. We've done a few games on payhip.com. Payhip.com slash Big Polly's World of Sports Sims. All one word spelt like the YouTube channel. So go look at the, the name of the channel and just put all the letters together. No spaces. And you will find uh, a few games that I have been putting up. Might uh, discontinue that uh, once the HDFL season ends, uh, regular season ends. So smoke them if you got them, boys. Our game today is a good one. Tampa Bay on the road to take on Dallas. They just lost to Miami. Tampa Bay did last week in overtime 20-14. to 14. I will play as Dallas, painful as this may be. And the computer will take on the Buccaneers. 70 degrees, and I use the creamsicle uh, logo for the Bucks. 70 degrees calm at Cowboys Stadium in Dallas, or, or in the burbs of Dallas. Arlington is where I think uh, the stadium is, where the Cowboys have been playing since 2009. And off we go. We say hello to Tom Brady and Roger Staubach, Roger to Dodger. And the coin toss will go Tampa Bay's way, and they will receive. They are in the white, and Dallas would usually be in the white jerseys, but they are actually in that cowboy blue. Wilson, Blunt, Humphreys back deep for Tampa Bay, and we start with a touchback, and we move the ball to the 20. Offensively for Tampa Bay, Dunn, Allstott, Johnson, Carrier, and Gronkowski. A 5, a 5, a 9, a 7, and a 7 receiver numbers, respectively, for those five. Brady, of course, uh, the GOAT out of Michigan. And your offensive line, Gruber, Marpet, Mayberry, Middleton, and Penn at 8, and the rest 7s. And Bucks call their first play. It's a pitch to Dunn out of Florida State. He will pick up three and head to the sidelines. Martin knocking him out of bounds. Your front four for Dallas. Two tall Jones, Harvey Martin, Randy White, Bob Lilly. A nine, a nine, a ten, and a ten. Chuck Howley, Hedrick, and Demarcus Ware. A ten, an eight, and a nine. Walls and Renfro, Everson Walls, Mel Renfro are nines. Woodson and Green, Cornell Green, is a 10 and a 9. What is Woodson's first name? Darren Woodson out of Arizona State. A 10 safety, defender rating. Second and 7 at the 23. Hope you all are well. Recording date March 30th, 2022. And Brady through to Dunn, tackled by Howley, and that's a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 34. Just getting underway. And a pass there. And Tom Brady says, hey, 19. And throws it to Keyshawn Johnson. Gain of nine yards. Second and a yard at the Bucks side of the field. Still the 43. Here's the A-train. All stop. Short of a first down by a few inches. But they will give him credit for one yard. He just didn't get enough of that one yard. To move the chains. Third and inches at the 44. And this is Dunn gaining a yard. And that is sufficient to advance the chains for a first down. Now they're up to the 45. First and 10. This is going to be a give to Dunn. And Dunn picks up five yards. Only his third carry, but we just started. We're three minutes, 53 seconds into this game. And he has nine yards. Second and five, and we have a marker. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Number 79, five-yard penalty. Harvey Martin called for that. 
And that moves it up five for Tampa Bay. They're in Dallas' side of the field now, first and 10 at the 45. This is Allstott gaining two. Where on the stop for the Cowboys? Second and eight at the 43. And done again, picking up two. Four carries, 11 yards. Let's profile how Tom Brady has been doing. His rating, his card should rate him at 106.4. And this is basically early 2010s Tom Brady, and he's 103.9. He's been fighting for the rating lead in the game, along with Sid Luckman of Chicago. Luckman has not been playing the last few games. They went with Kyle Orton. Game is funny. Third and six at the 41 because there is no season usage penalties in the HTFL, but they kind of sort of act like there is. That was a gain of seven for Dunn, a first down, and a gain of seven. Tenth play of the drive coming up for the Bucks. Incomplete. Brady looking for the Mark Carrier who is a receiver and not Mark Carrier of the Bears. What would, we, what would he be doing playing with Tampa Bay? Second and 10 from the 34. The give to A-Train. And he'll pick up two to make it third and eight. Hedrick on the stop. He is the inside linebacker. Cheryl Hedrick played on those early Dallas teams. He has 63 tackles coming into this game. And no sacks yet. Two, in the, two tackles so far in the game. He is at 65 total. Third and eight at the 32, which would put him all oh, about maybe top 25 in tackles. Brady looked for carrier incomplete. They will try a field goal with Husted from 49, just at the tippy top of his range. And Husted buries it. Three nothing bucks. The drive went 13 plays, gained 48 yards, and it took 7.33 off the clock. Marsh, Renfro, Ishmael back deep. And it's going to be Marsh taking it from about the 5 up to the 33. Carter on the tackle for the Buccaneers. A gain of 28. For Dallas, it's Elliott, Garrison, Irvin, Burford, and Witten. Elliott and Garrison are the two uh, running backs. They are 6 and 5 receivers. Irvin is a 10. Burford is an 8. Burford played for the Dallas Texans. They are part of the Dallas teams, and Jason Witten is a nine. Roger to Dodger sort of, uh, Stahlback is the quarterback out of Navy. Wright a nine, Allen a ten, Frederick a nine, Newton a ten, Smith a nine. That's your offensive line for the Cowboys, and we will dive with Walt Garrison. First and ten from the 33, and no pickup for uh, Garrison, tackled by Levante David. Your defense for Tampa Bay, Selman, Leroy Selman, the pillar of the early Buccaneer squads, a 10, Bennett, an 8, McCoy, a 9, Logan, an 8. Those are your front four. Brooks is a 10, an outside linebacker out of Florida State, Levante David, a 9, Hugh Green is an 8, Rondé Barber, a 10, Akeem Tlaib, an 8, Lynch at safety, a 10, Barron, the free safety, he is a 7. So Brady really getting uh, his money's worth out of the Buccaneers. You would think they would be underachievers, but uh, with Brady at the helm, they're 8-4 and four with 6 to play. Second and 10. And I'm going to go to Ezekiel Elliott this time. Pitch right. There's the pitch. And Elliott will pick up 8 yards. Green on the stop for the Bucks. Hugh Green. Double tight end, play action, short pass. And I'll look to Witten here. Complete. Gain of nine. And it's first and ten from the 50. Keep it on the inside. Go to Garrison, Walt Garrison. And he gains four up the middle. Derek Brooks comes over, lowers the boom on him. And Cowboys are now in Tampa Bay territory. Second and six. They'll go three wide, and that brings De Des Bryant in the game. So you got three 88s. Hope no, I hope Staubach knows which one to throw to. Hitch to Bryant on second and six. 
off his hands, incomplete. It may have been caught by Bryant, a better than 50-50 chance. We'll, we'll risk it. The ruling on the field stands. Incomplete. A timeout will be charged. Bruce Arians would say no risk it, no biscuit. He, of course, was the coach in 2021 that took the Bucks to their second Super Bowl. But we risked it and didn't get a biscuit. Third and six. And I'm going to go on the slant to Michael Irvin. Bucks playing short tight, so I'm going to change that uh, short slant to a medium slant. And Staubach back. Lots of protection, a perfect pass to Michael Irvin. A gain of 17 against Dallas last week, a game we had here, I believe, on the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims YouTube channel. He went 14-25, 243 yards. In fact, I, I, we had that game last Tuesday. Uh, so look that game up. We did that. Let me see. It's the 30th today. We did that on the 22nd because that was Thanksgiving week. Back to Garrison on a screen. First and 10 from the 29. Oh, he overthrew him. Staubach did. An incomplete pass. Staubach, 2 for 4. 26 yards very early in this game. We'll run to the outside and give it to Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> And Zeke gaining four. Hugh Green out of Pittsburgh making the tackle. Played for the Pitt Panthers in the early 80s. Third and six. I'm going to screen to Elliott and try to get the first down underneath. <laughs> Elliott's got it, and he will have that first down. A gain of eight. So both teams playing the ball control game remarkably well. 2.04 now left. Opening quarter. This is the 10th play of the Cowboys drive. So we have had back-to-back 10-play -back drives. Elliott in double tight end formation will gain three. Rondé Barber came up and attacked the low center of gravity of Elliott for the tackle. Second and seven. I'm going to go Chris Burford on the slant. And complete. Tlaib got a finger on that. Couldn't control it. Third and seven. Twelfth play of the drive. Ball at the 14. I'm going to look to Witten here on a short cross. And Staubach scrambles and scores. 14 yards out. Touchdown, Dallas. Roger the Dodger out of Navy. Heisman Trophy winner. Back in the 60s, it is 6-3. Your extra point, good by Dan Bailey. It is 7-3. Dallas leading with 34 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Fast-moving opening quarter because we had two long drives. Uh, got an email from Dave Cook Sports. Wilson, Blunt, and Humphreys. And I'll share that with you after the kickoff. Touchback. The gist of it was that in Action PC Football 2022, I think I said in earlier broadcasts it's coming out April 22nd. It's the 27th. That will be coming out. They will have the new overtime rules being proposed uh, by the competition committee. First and 10 from the 20, where each team will get a possession. Incomplete. There will be an option in the game to have the uh, each team gets a possession overtime rule that will probably be implemented in some form uh, by the National Football League. And if that is the case, if we do a season three in the fall, I'm going to use it. I'll just tell you that right now. Second and ten from the 20. 26 seconds to go. That's a gain of five. For Dunn Howley on the tackle, and that does it for your first quarter. It is 7-3 in favor of Dallas. Tampa Bay, 14 plays, 48 yards. Nine of them rushes. For Dallas, 67 plays. I'm not 67 plays, 67 yards on 12 plays, and it was evenly balanced. Six rushes, six passes. Third and five at the 25. As I try not to throw up the lasagna I had before the game. Gain of a yard for Brady. Not enough for the first. So the Bucks will be punting on 4th and 4. 
And this was Martin making a fair catch after a punt by Josh Bidwell of 42 yards. First and 10 at the 32. And again, we'll start off with Garrison, who would be in the rodeos in the offseason. Gain of three, Derek Brooks on the stop. Second and seven, ball at the 35. And what do we do here? We're going to go tight end screen to Witten. Tried this last night, and it worked well. Witten barrels ahead for 12 yards before Derek Rooks makes the tackle on him. First and 10. At the Dallas 47. Back to the double tight end set, and back to Ezekiel Elliott. Unknown coverage for Tampa Bay. No, I do not want to call timeout. Come here with my mouse. I want to continue with the original play call because I don't know what adjustments to make. And Ezekiel Elliott in the Tampa Bay territory, a gain of six yards to the 47. Back to the base set. We'll look for Burford on the short cross. I don't think he has a reception yet. And he still doesn't. It's going to be third and four. We'll try that screen again to Elliott. Bucks playing a 4-2 nickel. Five defensive backs. And that is incomplete. So Staubach struggling early. He is four for nine, 46 yards. Brady also struggling, two for five. Four and four. And Danny White comes in. He will try to shoehorn. And not really successful at it. The punt only goes 28 yards. Went for the went for the corner. And not a good as punt as Danny White would have hoped. So the Bucks get it back. First and 10 at the 19. 11 28 now until halftime. Nice throw there. And off to the races is Mark Carrier. And he might go all the way he does. 81 yards. And that gives Carrier 1,054 yards receiving on the air. Breaks the 1,000 barrier on his 48th catch. He's averaging 22 yards, and he has nine touchdowns. It's 9-7 with the point after to come. Here is Husted. And como esta, Husted? You made it. 10-7. And we're down to 11.09 now left till halftime. Marsh. Waits the kickoff, took it at about the 1, and returned it to the 20. A lot of work to get to the same spot they would have gotten to anyway. And now the Cowboys trail by 3. We'll sweep it right with Walt Garrison, first and 10 from the 20. And that is a gain of 3. Allen to the sideline, the left guard. His return probable, and... Let's see who comes in. Zach Martin out of Notre Dame. Cheer, cheer for old Notre Dame. Coming in. Second and seven at the 23. To Witten on the short cross. And Staubach runs again. That's a gain Holding. of six, Offense. but it's coming back. Number 61, 10 yard penalty. They get Newton for a hold. And that sets up second and 17. We'll screen it to Elliott. Bucks playing a 3-1 quarter formation, deep and loose. And Elliott picking up about a little more than half the yards he needed. Gain of nine to make it third and eight. Three wide again. And let's go to Irvin, get him going here. Short cross. And that is caught. Irvin with the catch. Gain of 11, first and 10 for Dallas. A good recovery from 2nd and 17. I'm going to have make sure Garrison blocks here for Ezekiel Elliott. And that's a nice gain, a gain of 5. Ball to 38. 849 left until halftime. We'll go Bryant on the short crossing route. We have a marker down. Gain of 13 if it sticks. Offsides. Defense. It'll stick. Number 63. Five-yard penalty. Leroy Selman called for offsides. First and 10 now at the 49 at Tampa Bay. 8.05 left. The Buccaneers with a 10-7 lead. Dive for Walt. 
Garrison. And that's a gain of four yards. Garrison on the day, by the way, five carries and 14 yards. Elliott now up to five for 26. Second and six, medium crossing route, Jason Witten. Crossing route's working well for the Cowboys. And another completion as evidence of that. Gain of 16. And John Lynch on the tackle. Ball to 29. Straight dive for Elliott here. First and 10. He zigzags for six. Bennett made the tackle. He's out of Texas A&M. Second and four. And we're going to look to Burford over the middle. Instead, it's a dump to Elliott. He gained six yards and a first down. Three catches for 23 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. First and 10 at the 17. And we'll try the fade route to Burford here. And Staubach was a master at this. Remember that great catch Tony Hill made at the, in the uh, 79 regular season ender against Washington as Staubach made his last great comeback. Back-to-back uh, -back touchdowns in the last three minutes, uh, beating the Redskins 35-34, and it knocked the Redskins out of the playoffs as it turned out. December 16, 1979. I remember the date because that was the day the Bucks beat Kansas City 3-0 to make the playoffs. Second and 10. Screen. Elliott, gain of 10. And that moves it to the 7 of Tampa Bay, so now you got first and goal to go. Elliott, inside run. And no gain. Selman may be hurt. He remains in the game. Looks like he he's favoring something. We can't see from this vantage point exactly what. So it's going to be a second and goal. And we are going to go Garrison off tackle right. I hope Garrison can pop one. Nope. Hugh Green brings him down. Third and goal. Three minutes, three seconds now left. I'm going to look to Witten on the short cross. That cross has been working well, but not that time. An incompletion. Fourth and goal. 85% chance. Bailey hits this to tie the game from 25. Oh, he pulled it. No good. No good. And Bailey has been doing that in the games we have been doing of Dallas most of the year. He's a great long kicker, but terrible short. First and 10 at the 20. The Bucks staving off a Dallas score there that probably would have tied the game. First and 10 from the 20. And that was zip to Keyshawn. Incomplete. Martin, Harvey Martin, will be out a few plays. So George Andre coming in out of Marquette. Back when Marquette had a football program. Second and 10 from the 20. And that is a grab for Dunn. A gain of four. Two carries, 16 yards for Dunn. Dunn's a good threat on the screen passes, by the way. Third and five. I'm not going to call a timeout. But Tampa Bay will, which is a little puzzling since they were two seconds away from the two-minute warning. Third and five. And that is a grab for Keyshawn. He got out of bounds. But the two-minute timeout is here. It is Tampa Bay 10, Dallas 7. First and 10 at the 31. We look at the timeouts. Each team with two. Dallas does not have their challenge for the remainder of the game. Tampa Bay does. Give to Allstott up the gut. A gain of three. And does Tampa Bay call another timeout here? They do. They are down to their last one. A minute 49 to go. Brady throwing to Keyshawn on the sideline. He got out of bounds. Gain of 14. And it's first and 10. Ball now at Tampa Bay's own 48. Brady so far, 6 of 10. 126 yards and a touchdown. That's a grab for Dunn. Howley made the tackle for Dallas. And now Tampa Bay out of timeouts for the remainder of this half. Second and six at the 48. Brady sacked by Bob Lilly. 
Third and 12. Now I'll call a timeout. I have one left because I'm playing as Dallas. Third and 12 at the 46. In no, it's a catch for Johnson. He bobbled it for a moment. A gain of five. Stepped out of bounds. So fourth and seven. We'll watch for a fake punt here. And that goes out of bounds at the 19. Punt by Bidwell. 30-yard punt. So 110 to go. And the Cowboys will try for it here. We're going to go to Witten on a medium out. And he got out of bounds. Gain of 16. He goes over 1,000 for the season on his 63rd catch. A 15.9 average for the season. He has six touchdowns. It's first and 10 now at the 35. Bryant, medium slant. Oh, no, incomplete. Probably should be using the sidelines anyway. Staubach now, 11 of 19. Medium out to Burford on second and 10. Didn't get it. Third and ten. Now here's where I'm going to try a draw play with Elliott. And I know that's kind of an I give up play gain of four. But Tampa Bay doesn't have a way to stop the clock. We will go down to one second. Because here's what I'm thinking. We go four wide, which brings Clark in the game. By the way, when... Uh, Dallas goes to three receivers. Abraham comes in. Donnie Abraham out of East Tennessee State. I'm going to load three to the left. And Roger was known to throw a Hail Well, he can't throw a Hail Mary from here. So we're just going to go bomb. And we'll have the quarterback pass it. And we'll look to Clark, who just came into the game. And just chuck one up because the clock will run out on this play. Incomplete, and we are at halftime. Your score, Tampa Bay 10, Dallas 7. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. Back for second half action. Big Polly coming to you. HTFL football. Tampa Bay 8 and 4. Dallas 8 and 4. And it's 10 to 7. The Buccaneers leading at this stage of the game. Buccaneers have 23 plays, 161 yards, 12 of the plays passes. For Dallas, 36 plays, 191 yards, 21 have been passes. Marsh back deep for the Cowboys, who get the second half kickoff. He takes it about the five, and a nice return for Marsh. 28 yards, Moss, Winston Moss made the tackle for the Bucks. And we will go Garrison on the dive. Five-yard gain for... Garrison, who now has seven carries, 19 yards on the day. Bucks have star players at enough places to make them a very difficult defense to call plays against. Burford on the short cross, second and five. Incomplete. They were doubling Irvman. And Leroy Selman is out of the game. Coming out with an undisclosed injury. He was a little woozy early on. So Adrian Claiborne comes in, who is a sixth defensive end. That's a radical departure from a 10. Third and five. We'll screen to Elliott. And now the uh, Cowboys should own the inside running game. And Elliott picking up 12. 
Derek Brooks making the stop. And it's first and ten at the HGFL logo at midfield. Elliott on a dive. And he will pick up seven yards there before Levante David came from behind to get him. Second and three. And we'll go play action, medium cross to Jason Witten. Staubach 12 for 23. Now he's 12 for 24 as that falls incomplete. Third and three. We're going to stick with Elliott and, and running the ball here. We're going to go off tackle right. And he gains the first to pick up a four. And the ball now at the Tampa Bay 39. And I'm going to go Elliott again, trap right. No gain. Hugh Green on the stop. It's going to be second and ten. Setting something up, but it's, I'm setting something up for the next first down. Pitch right to Garrison. He'll try the outside. And that is a gain of two. Third and eight at the 37. We'll go Des Bryant on the short cross. Third and eight. He caught it. That's a first down, a gain of 12. Staubach now 13 to 25, 151 yards. Now here's what I'm setting up. Okay, the ball's at the 25, so we'll go long instead of bomb. Play action. Long pass to Burford. Hot. Gonna try for the quick strike. And no, it's not there. Incomplete. Having a hell of a time trying to get it to Burford. He has no catches, no yards. We're going to go Garrison on the screen on second Hot. and ten. And Garrison gets the first, not a first down, but a pickup of seven. He, that was the first catch he has had all game. Third and three. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust Ezekiel Elliott here on a dive. He is one yard short of the first. Gain of two. Elliott on the day, 12 carries and 49 yards. So Dan Bailey is going to come on the field. He just blew a short field goal. He will try this from 33. And we are tied. 10-10. With 7.42 left to go, third quarter. A very entertaining game. If you are into the minutia and you're into the strategy, Dallas is just owning the time of possession right now. 26.49. They have run 48 plays. Tampa Bay has just barely been on the field. They have run 48 plays, Dallas has, and the Bucks have only run 23 at this point. And by the way, on that drive, the, it took 13 plays, 51 yards, 7.06. It is the third Scoring drive that has gone longer than 10 plays. Tampa Bay had one for a field goal earlier. And Dallas has had two 10-plus play drives. Wilson back deep for the Bucks, but it'll be a touchback. 7.42 to go. Brady, 8 of 12, 135 yards. They've done a hell of a job just keeping them off the field. Incomplete looking Offside. for Johnson. Defense, number 72, five-yard penalty. Jones, too tall Jones, called for the offsides. That's the third penalty for the Cowboys, 20 yards. Neither team has turned the ball over. First and five at the 25. And that throw, an incompletion. Marcus Ware got a finger on it, but couldn't haul it down. That's going to set up second and five. By the way, our pay hip game tonight, Kansas City and Las Vegas. So I know somebody will be interested in that. Just a dollar to get it. Download it onto your computer. Second and five from 25 in 1080p. And that is a screen to Allstott. He gained four. They're a yard shy of the first. Third and a yard at the 29. Pitch two. Done. A gain of a yard. First down. First and 10 from the 30. The Buccaneers need a sustained drive here. Gain of three, four. Allstott again. Allstott out of Purdue. Five carries, 11 yards. Second and seven at the 20, 33. And Allstott again with it. Five-yard gain. White bringing him down. Randy White. I saw him play at Purdue. There was a game on uh, the day after Thanksgiving, and I want to say it was 1995. I was living in Florida. I was living in the Tampa Bay area in Largo. Third and two at the 38. 
And that is a long pass to the carrier. He has a hundred yards and it only hundred and one yards, and it only took him two catches to get it. Rating now ten of fifteen, 159 yards. And the ball is at the Dallas 42. I had a feeling watching him because they would Purdue would use him a tailback, and he would just you know, because he was so big and strong, he would just clean up shop. It was Purdue and Indiana playing on a, a thanks, a day after Thanksgiving at Bloomington. And Allstott was just killing it. And I had a feeling the Buccaneers were going to get him. And a few months later, my prophecy became reality. Second and 10 from the 42. And that is Brady running. Gain of a yard. And it's third and nine. At the 41, 315 to go. Brady throwing. And Carrier wide open again. Gain of 15. He's up to 116 yards on just three catches. And I think he is leading everybody in terms of yardage. There are players with more catches. Elliott has five for Dallas. Johnson has four. Uh, Witten for Dallas has four. First and 10 at the 26 as the Bucks near the red zone. And Dunn catches it again, gain of five, his fifth catch. Fourth catch, I beg your pardon, for 25 yards. I was looking in the Dallas columns. Second and five, it's Brady. And the GOAT throws to Johnson. Walls on the tackle, a gain of five. Thirteenth play of the drive. We were just talking about how the Buccaneers needed a sustained drive. Well, it's going on right now. First and ten at the 16. It's Brady. Johnson, touchdown, Buccaneers. Keyshawn Johnson, his eighth touchdown of the season. Brady has thrown his 31, 31st, not 31th, touchdown. And Husted will try the extra point, make it 17 to 10, which he does. So Dallas again down seven, nine seconds left, third quarter. Marsh back deep. He will down it in the end zone, and Dallas will start from the 20. And the Cowboys don't have to move with urgency yet, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll pitch it right with Ezekiel Elliott, double tight end formation. And Elliott picks up a good eight yards. That'll do it for the third quarter. Buccaneers 17, Cowboys 10. The Bucks now 35 plays, 20 passes, 236 yards. Dallas... 49 plays, 27 passes, 250. So about an even game in everything but the number of plays each team has had and time of possession. So on second and two, what do you do? We're going to go play action bomb to Irvin. Let the playmaker play. And here is Staubach, and he is going deep. And Irvin is there. Touchdown, Dallas. And Michael Irvin reaches 100 yards on the day. 72 yards. And Staubach let it go, and Irvin was right there. 17-16, we will kick the extra point and tie the game, and hope to tie the game with Bailey, you never know. Extra point is good. We are tied at 17, 14, 41 to go. Wilson back deep for the Buccaneers. Touchback. So that ups Staubach to 15 of 28, 230 yards, one touchdown. With that strike to Michael Irvin, the playmaker. First and 10 from the 20. And it's Brady firing to Keyshawn Johnson. Gain of 12. And Brady now. It's gotten hot, 15-21 to 21 for 212. He's been on point, first and 10 at the 32. Brady looking for Carrier. Carrier has had a big day, a gain of nine there to make it second and one. Four catches, 125 yards for Mark Carrier. And let's profile him. He went over the 1,000-yard mark today. And he has 1,098 yards on 51 catches. He's out of Nichols State. Second and one at the 41. Played on the Bucks in the late 80s, early 90s. Incomplete, looking for Keyshawn. Hedrick now jogging off. 
He'll be back in a few plays. He's the inside linebacker, so Leroy Jordan comes in for Dallas. Third and a yard. Ball at the 41. And this is Allstott just short of the goal line. They are challenging. The ruling on the field is confirmed. A timeout will be charged. And they did not get enough for the first down. They were just short. It'll be fourth and inches at the 42. And Tampa Bay is going for it. Very interesting decision here. I'm going to key on Dunn. It was Allstott who got it. He got the first. Hedrick back in for Dallas. First and 10 at the 43. 12.46 now, left in the fourth. Caught by Keyshawn. A gain of 13. Emerson Walls making the tackle. And Keyshawn says, hello, Walls. First and 10 at the 44. Keyshawn again to the house. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. His second touchdown reception of the game. And he goes over 100. Nine for 124. So Brady feeling the magic. And the extra point attempt for Husted is coming. It's good. And it is 24-17. Tampa Bay leading again. And back and forth we go here. We're down to 11-10. We've had so many sustained drives in this game, all of a sudden it's turning into a shootout. Marsh stationed at about the 7. And they will rule he was at the 8. And that's a return to the 26. So an 18-yard kickoff return for Marsh. And now the Cowboys down to 10.55. We're going to screen to Walt Garrison. And Garrison's got another catch. Gain of six. Second catch of the day, 13 yards total. Second and four. Three wide. We're going to go to Witten, though, on the short cross. And he's got a first down. Lynch finally hogtied him. Gain of 13. That is now five catches, 66 yards for Jason Witten. Las Vegas could have gotten Jason Witten. They had a pick. High, uh, they could form their team higher than Dallas could, but they chose not to take him. Surprise. Screen, Walt Garrison. They're not doing too poorly right now. They're 7-5. and five. Tampa Bay playing short and tight. So I'm going to go bomb fly to Irvin again. First and 10 at the 45. Might as well try it. Incomplete. Talib could not make the in, in, in interception. Blah, 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 blah. And it was a check down to Chris Burford. Burford has not had a catch in this game. And I'm going to change that attempt to right now. Screen to Burford on second and ten. Oh, they couldn't get to him. He is just cursed today. An incompletion. Third and ten will go hitch to Irvin. Ace, they're looking for the crossing route. No, he did not get the first. Burford finally got his first catch, but it was short of the first. Fourth and five at the 50. Now, do we gamble and try to get the first down here? Fourth and five. Brady has been hot in the second half. I'm going to try for the first down. We're going to go five wide. And we're going to go short pass. To Tony Hill, who comes in as a fifth wideout. Clark is the fourth tight out. We're going to gamble. Hill's got it. And he ran, got past the first down marker. Tlaib made the tackle. Abraham, Cotney, and Kelly all came in as extra defensive backs. First and 10 at the 38. We'll go back to the base formation. The way Brady's been throwing it, I really didn't want to give him another chance with a seven-point lead. Off tackle right, Garrison, first and 10. And Garrison wide open, 20, 10, to the house. Touchdown, Dallas. Longest run of the year, 38 yards. As the late, great Howard Cosell once said, what a football game this turned out to be. Well, we knew it had the makings of a good game. Both teams leading in the South Division. It's 24-23. Teams have been going back and forth. That was the third touchdown this quarter. 
That was with two Tampa Bay with one. Bailey hits the extra point. Thank goodness. And it's 24-24. 7-21 now left in the fourth quarter. Wilson back deep for the Bucks. It'll be another touchback. Bailey has been doing good on the kickoffs. First and 10 at the 20 for Tampa Bay. Brady hands it off to Dunn. Dunn with a gain of four. Martin on the stop for Dallas. 7-14 left. The Tampa Bay have to go to overtime a second straight week. All start there with that catch, a gain of nine. Brady now 19 to 26, 287, so he's 13 shy of the 300 mark. First and 10 at the 33. It's All start, and he has open space. 14 yard gain. Woodson on the stop. And the Buccaneers are moving again. 540 to go. This could come down to who has the ball last. First and 10 at the 47, the way these two teams are moving right now. Carrier again, wide open. Gain of 19, he's up to 144, and that puts Brady over 300. 20 for 27, 306 yards. He has been very accurate in this second half. I don't know where the second half numbers are, but they must be good. And done with a little daylight. Nine yards. Second and one for the 25. Will Brady go for the whole Megillah here? And something happened there. He was sacked by Randy White. Knew he was in trouble. Ran towards the line. Only got sacked one yard. Third and two. Ball to 26. We have 4.04 remaining in the game. And this is a catch for Rob Gronkowski. I believe that is the first time he has, he has been stagnant in this game when he comes through at a big spot. For Brady, who is now at 316 yards, 21 of 28 on the day. Been red, ac red hot accurate in the second yeah. half. Incomplete. Intended for carrier. Second and 10, ball to 16. Dallas would like to hold him here to a field goal. And Brady surveying things. He throws to Dunn at incompletion. Third and 10. I don't usually call plays, but I'm going to try for a blitz here on Brady. And a 3-2 dime. And all stock gained three yards, seven short of the first, 225 left. Husted will try a 30-yarder. You got it. So the Cowboys need a field goal to tie, a touchdown for the lead with 220 left to go in the fourth. And Marsh back deep for Dallas. A very busy fourth quarter. We've had four scores, and we had five scores total coming into the fourth. Marsh back deep. Told you that already. And it's down for a touchback. So 27-24. Big game here between Tampa Bay and Dallas for the South Division lead. Fly to Irvin, first and 10 from the 20. And he caught it. Gain of 18. Four catches. 118 for him on today. We have three receivers over 100 yards. Keyshawn, 9 for 124. Carrier, 5 for 144. And Michael Irvin now, 4 for 118. They're not going to get a playoff before the two-minute warning, so we go to the two-minute timeout. Cowboys with three timeouts left. Tampa Bay with two. Bryant on the medium cross. First and 10 to 38. The cross has been working well. And that's a gain of 17. And Staubach has gone over 300 yards, 301. And he's telling the team to huddle, to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Don't even huddle. And we're going to try the medium slant to Irvin on first and 10 at the Bucks 45. Incomplete looking for Witten. Reflected by Lynch. Second, uh, second and ten. Gonna go Witten. That cross seems to be working well. We'll stick with it. Incomplete. Be a 62-yard field goal from here. We're gonna screen. We're gonna pitch right with Elliot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Check the marker. That could be against Dallas. It's not. Number 76, five-yard penalty. We will take the penalty, make it third and five, a minute 22 to go. Got to go to your playmaker here. We're going to go to Irvin. 
We still have all of our timeouts left. Slant to Irvin. Stahlback runs, gains two, and now we'll have to call timeout because it's fourth and three. Fourth and three from the 38. So the game hinging, perhaps, on this last play, possibly, for Dallas. We'll go five wide since it worked the last time we tried it. Tony Hill. Well, can't use play action here because I don't have a running back. We're going to go long fly to Tony Hill. Fourth and three from the 38. We're going to try to win it right here. Staubach throws. Hill's got it. And Dallas takes the lead. Oh, doctor. Tony Hill has done it again. Just like he did on that day in 1979 against Washington. So the point after for Bailey coming up. Remember, Brady still has a minute six to work with. It's 31-27 in favor of Dallas. 66 seconds left. And I'm going to kick deep to Wilson. The way Daly has been kicking, uh, Bailey has been kicking the ball out. It's a good move. And it's a touchback. So, coming into the game for Tampa Bay. They're bringing in all their speed. James Wilder at running back. He's 32. Mike Evans at wide receiver. He is up on the left of your, uh, top of your screen. He is split end on the left side. 13. And Antonio Bryant coming in. He is 89, I believe. Yes, he is. So, that's the situation. First and 10 at the 20. And Brady throwing. He is sacked. No, a fumble. White stripped the ball out. Marpet with the recovery. And White will get credit for the second sack. And I'm sure the Bucks are going to call timeout here. And now they're facing an uphill climb. Second and 20 from the 10. 56 seconds remaining. Smith and Harris are your extra DBs for Dallas. They lead 31-27. Screen. Incomplete. Holding. Offense. Number 73, five-yard penalty. We'll take it. A five-yard penalty. It's half the distance, so Tampa Bay gets the discount, but they're now at their own five. Second and 25 at the five. Brady looking for Wilder incomplete. Third and 25. I'm going to call these next two plays. 3-1, deep zone, prevent. We got Brady right where we want him. Incomplete. Looking for Antonio Bryant. So this is the big play. Fourth and 25. Dallas can hold him here. It's a win. Long throw. Incomplete looking for Carrier. And with 15 seconds left, it's academic. We'll put three wide, uh, three uh, running backs in. We'll put Dorset in. But Stavok's going to take a knee. Tampa Bay calls their last timeout. And we take an E again. Dallas has won. Dallas has won 31 to 27. Great game here at Cowboys Stadium. A gutsy move on fourth down to throw that to Tony Hill. 38 yards with a minute six to go. And that was back and forth. Teams alternated scores throughout the game. Staubach, your MVP. Team stats. Dallas had the ball for 32-35. So Tampa Bay dominated time of possession in the second half. Got it back to 27-25. They ran 54 plays. Dallas ran 65. And Dallas had 469 yards. Tampa Bay was perfect in the red zone, but it was a touchdown and a field goal, 373. Brady had the better game, 22 of 34, 319. Staubach, 22 of 39, 339, two touchdowns. Brady threw for three. Leading rusher for both teams was Walt Garrison, 9 for 59. We had a whole bunch of good receiving games. Johnson led everybody with nine catches, but Carrier uh, caught passes for totaling 144 yards. Johnson had 124, and Irvin had 118 on four catches. And your leading tackler was Hugh Green with eight. Whew. Well, that was an interesting game, was it not? 
So Tampa Bay now falls to 8 and 5. The uh, clock might be striking midnight uh, for that Cinderella team, although at 8 and 5 they should be able to make the playoffs. Ta- Dallas will move to 9 and 4. Our pay hip game, which we will have up for you tomorrow morning, will be Las Vegas and Kansas City. They are both 7 and 5 coming into the game. Our uh, game tomorrow on the YouTube channel will be Arizona traveling to San Francisco to take on the Gold Raiders. And San Francisco 10-2. and two. Our Monday night game on a Friday, Atlanta and Miami, both teams 7-5. and five. Just looking at everything here. I didn't realize I was still on camera. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's game. I enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next time. This has been Big Polly. Wishing you all Godspeed and God bless. We will do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.